Thank you, Stephanie. Higher temperatures at higher elevations, colder at lower elevations, and some exceptions, just to make it interesting. The chief, First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger, is here to explain our temperature inversion. Yeah, it certainly has been unusual here for pretty much all week long. I've been getting a lot of emails and complaints about how my forecast lows have been very wrong in some cases. And there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that in just a second. First, I want to start off with what the standard atmosphere is, and that's typically where we have the warmer air at the surface, and as you go higher in elevation, the temperatures drop. That's typical and what most people know. What we've had this week, though, is a very large ridge of high pressure build over Northern California. And what that's done is helped to create what we call an inversion layer. So what's been happening, in particular at night, we've been seeing these cold temperatures just kind of pool down into the valley. And then above that, instead of the temperatures decreasing with height, they've actually been increasing with height because of this nice little pocket of warm air above the surface here. So what's been happening is, is we're seeing, say, the overnight lows in the valley have been somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees all week long. But then in some of the higher elevations, and I say some of the higher elevations, have been looking at temperatures on average, say, in the mid to upper 30s and even lower 40s in some cases, which is warmer than what the valley has seen. So again, it's because of that temperature inversion. But it gets more complicated than that because as we kind of zoom in closer, get an idea, say, this is where all the temperature inversion is. However, cold air is like water. It wants to just kind of sink down into all the little nooks and cranny and the crevices here. So if you live in an area that's in that inversion, but if you live in, say, just a little bit of a valley, say, go down 50 feet or 100 feet, that colder air is where you are. But if you go just above you, you're looking at temperatures much warmer. So, for example, uh, I've had reports of, say, in the Shingletown area, temperature this morning dropped down to about 32 degrees in downtown Shingletown. But there are some places very close by that may live in one of these little nooks and crannies, and you're looking at temperatures dropping down into the low 20s. So a big difference in those temperatures here. So not only are we dealing with the temperature inversion, but we're also dealing with little mini temperature inversions, if you will, in many of the higher elevations, and it has been wreaking havoc with our forecast lows. The good news is this area of high pressure is going to start to break down by next week, and things should get closer to normal around here by around Wednesday. We'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. So it's not absolutely universal. Don't email Mike and say, yeah, but what about because you're driving him crazy? He's in line.